Before I dive deeper into this video, I just want to say that if this content applies to you, I just want you to know from the bottom of my soul that you did nothing wrong. You put yourself out there. You were vulnerable. You were your complete self and there's nothing you could have done to change the outcome that you're in right now. Don't be so hard on yourself. That's what the devil is trying to do. He's turning your rejection into your, into your worth. And that is absolutely not the case here. Rejection is a part of this human experience and it's hard and it hurts and I'm going through it right now. And it's not fun. Whether you put yourself out there in a relationship, a friendship, an opportunity, maybe you tried out for something, maybe you tried to get a promotion. I don't know what it was. It just could have been anything that deals with rejection. You were rejected, it hurts, but that does not define your worth. I promise you, I promise. Okay, anyways, that is gonna be the premise of this video, so to be quite vulnerable and to be candid, I am being rejected right now. I really like this guy. I put myself out there. I thought he might've liked me and he didn't. And it sucks. It's like, what could I have done wrong? What is, what am I, why am I not good enough? Why do I never measure up? Is he seeing someone else? What does she have that I don't? And I could drive myself crazy doing that because that's what Satan wants for my life. And that might sound crazy to people that aren't super religious. They might be like, why are you bringing Satan into this? Because that's what the devil conditions us for. It is really hard for me to do like one take for an entire video, so just forgive the different angles. But I did find a verse amongst various others that kind of talk about what Satan's plans for our life are. And I am in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, and it says, Be sober-minded, be alert. Your adversary, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for anyone he can devour. And guess who that is? It's the vulnerable rejectee. It's you. You are feeling not so hot about yourself right now. You're probably nitpicking everything about yourself. Like, why am I not good enough? Why this? Why that? And that mentality is where the devil can creep in and complete his mission, which is to turn everyone away from God because he wants you to feel worthless. And I have to remind myself of this. This video is kind of for me, kind of for you, kind of for anyone who needs to hear it. Just be reminded that this is a game that he's playing right now. And I stop myself because I'm focusing so much on the devil instead of what God has to say about you. Let's, let's pour some life into this situation, this very hard situation. And honestly, if you're at a point in your rejection where you're like, this hurts too much to even hear the truth, I get it. And if you close your laptop or shut your phone off or do something else, play Candy Crush instead, I get it. But this is very important to know. And I am in 1 Peter, because the wise words of Peter, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 4. And it says, As you come to him, a living stone, rejected by people, but chosen and honored by God. Rejected by people, but chosen and honored by God. Now let's think about that for a second. The world can reject you. Every single person on this world can reject you. But you will never not be chosen by God. You are never not worthy of the kingdom. You are never not worthy of his grace, his love, no matter what you do, no matter who else rejects you. So I just think that that's just so profound. And let's not forget what Christ says in the book of John. I'm in John 15, verse 18, and it's under persecutions predicted. Verse 18 says, if the world hates you, understand that it hated me first if people hated christ and they still do then of course people are not always going to accept and love you because if they refuse to love christ who is perfection then what about you you imperfect being jesus went through so much persecution so much rejection so much adversity and he died for you. If Jesus can do it, so can you. If there's any message to take away from all of my scrambling of words, I hope some of it made sense. Rejection hurts. I'm probably going to cry after this video, but please understand what God has to say about it. Not what the devil has to say about it or feel the way the devil wants you to feel. Think about what Christ felt. Think about what God calls you for, calls for your life. And maybe try to feel better. Love you.